Shalom. Shalom. Kohala. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Bachavadash. The ones that the apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to you, brothers in the highways and byways doing the work sincerely. Alright. Um, I, I don't know what I'm going to call this. Some, something along the lines of um, headliners. Because basically that's what we're going to be checking out. Some of the headliners concerning, as Esau puts it, black Hebrew Israelites. And anything in the news or anything on you know radio or what have you is going to be in the light in a, in a, uh, a damning light towards us man so i'm gonna make mention of a couple things how you know it became that great millstone or gms was to be added on the front of your uh, or the front of your name because back in 2007 when this thing really started to take off they had apostles Elder Apostle, Elder Apostle Taha, and Elder Apostle Kabbal, Elder Apostle Rakal, Elder Apostle Ramlob, you know, when them, when them men, you know, the, you know, um, Apostle Rakal, um, um, you know, and a few other various brothers, you know, out there on the highways and byways. Now, when them men came out, you know, there wasn't many people putting videos up, but as they started to teach and the call started to go out, you know, there was there was a, a a litany of men coming out of the woodwork, getting Bibles, getting garments, and niggas was reckless, man. Niggas was really reckless out here. So then the spirit jumped on at the time, Apostle Taha, and he made he he put out a decree. He said, "Listen, if you were Great Millstone, if you were us, put GMS at the front of your name, okay." That was a separation to know who was who. And even to this very day right now, man, putting Great Millstone, putting GMS at the front of your name really is a spiritual thing, man. And so now that Esau is making his move, he'll, he'll set up anybody to, to come in the name of Great Millstone or just as you see now, a lot of these groups once again, reckless, you know, self-willed, the pull-out boys, niggas going to ranges and shooting guns. That ain't, they, they, listen, that's nothing but niggas with Bibles, man. Straight up niggas from the, the hood with Bibles. Bibles and guns, <clears throat> you know. There's nothing edifying about any of that shit that them niggas is doing. You know, some one of them cats is probably in the military. Probably got his little gun license now. You know, he want to summons up the posse to go shoot his little pistols or what have you. Okay? So, all that being said, you know, we had Great Millstone, man. We, you know, the time is, the door is being shut where we just can't welcome anybody that says they're Great Millstone or a GMS, man. When that decree went out that we just put GMS in front of our names, man, that was a that was a, a very spiritual uh, moment, man. Now you know. Now you know how great the title or the initials Great Millstone became, you know, how it became. You know, the order went out that because previously we just brothers just had titles on their, you know, on their channels. Whatever you came up with, you kind of put it on there. And oh, 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 the piggy to um to add to the to the, to the decree that went out, you had to put GMS in the state you was from, or or your city. And this is how we ended up with GMS Boston. So when you <clears throat> so as you younger brothers start to come in, and you start using GMS, now you have a little understanding of why it was. Or why it is that you put GMS on the front of your name. Because it was about separating. We had to separate through the spirit. We had to separate ourselves from the nonsense that was going on in Israel at the time, man. Because in Esau's eyes, we're all one, we're all one group. We're all one cult in Esau's eyes. You see? And that's why we and that's why we we are we're a step above, man. We're a step above everybody else. So let's check out some of these headliners and go from there. Okay, this is a headliner from the Washington Post dated 
December 8, 1987, it says, Nine black Hebrews plead guilty in a uh, crime ring. Now, I'm not going to read the whole thing because some of these things are kind of long. But, you know, the majority of these headliners you're going to see is all about de demonization, man. You know, you don't, you're not going to see a headliner, Hebrew Israelites break down Revelation, the ninth chapter. Now the world has understanding. Or the Hebrew Israelites, you know, have, have, you know, opened up some of the mysteries through the spirit that now people can understand the Bible better. Okay. All right. It says nine members of black Hebrew religious sect who in 1986 convictions in connection with a multi-million dollar international crime ring were overturned last summer on appeal have entered surprisingly guilty pleas ending one of the most expensive criminal prosecutions uh, ever undertaken <clears throat> all right so here you have now all of a sudden just average old black men have put the, the state through the most expensive ordeal for a multi-million dollar international crime ring. Okay. Like I said, I'm not going to read all this. There's a lot. There's just, you know, but brothers can go and, you know, go in and check it out. You know, it's just pretty, pretty much the same. These brothers, these men was getting down with some kind of scam and, and you know, embezzling money. But it's all about the headliners, you know. When you when you see the headliners, you're gonna see it's all about demon demonization, brothers, man. This is Daily Beast. This is Black Hebrew Cult Murders. The case against Vienna Sisk. Now check this out. I'll read a little bit of this. And some of you brothers might know about this situation. Some of you younger brothers may not even heard it, but here it goes. This is um at first blush, Vienna Sisk MySpace page looks like uh hold on my damn glasses. At first blush, Vienna Sisk MySpace page looks like garden variety uh millennial narcissism. Her first photo album titled Beautiful Me is a collection of self portraits with titles like I'm cute, too trying to be sexy and want to be in these photos according to her profile it is just as conventional as her web presence suggests a 25 year old customer service representative who works who makes between 45,000 and 60,000 a year those close to me call me V she writes I'm originally from Waterloo Ohio aka the Lou I currently live in Colorado Springs pretty much I'm a real easy person to get along with this is the this is her head. Now this is the dude in the left hand corner. So let's let me let me go down and read a little bit about this cat. Okay, go. Alright. There was a little there was a section I wanted to read. Um, anyway, this dude, Peter Moses, he called himself, ended up killing this chick. And, uh, that once again puts, you know, any man who's out there calling himself a Hebrew, puts him in that category of being a murderer. You see? But this is how Esau operates. This is how he operates. Let me try to find that real quick. Here it goes here. It says, Sis, Sis reference to an impending apocalypse likely stems from her involvement with the black Hebrews, an identity-based religious movement whose African-American followers believe that they are the true descendants of Jesus Christ. Polygamous, anti-Semitic, anti-Semitic, uh, 
the more established sect of the black Hebrew numbers in the thousands and live all over the world, including Israel. But there are many splinter groups that exist in the shadows, says Rick Ross, founder of the executive director of New Jersey-based Ross Institute, an educational nonprofit that investigates cults around the world. He defines the black Hebrews as a cult because the group's past activities have been described as totalitarian leader at the head of several of its sects, the brainwashing of its members, and some element of harm, be it violence, child abuse, and other crimes committed in the name of God. Okay? Now, all this shit is just pure bullshit. Pure bullshit. Do you got some rogue niggas who will call themselves Israelite? Absolutely. Absolutely. But you can't lump every Israelite out there in that same that same lump of clay just because this nigga went rogue and didn't and lost his mind. Now, this dude here had had liked Great Millstone at one point. Okay? He had liked Great Millstone at one point. So then it was said that, oh, Great Millstone be murdering niggas and this, that, and the third. But these are these headlines, man. These are these headlines that are going to demonize anybody out there calling themselves a Hebrew Israelite. And the nerve of Esau, because all the shit that he's done throughout the four corners of the world for many years. Now all of a sudden, anybody saying anything about contrary to what he believes is a is a, a cult a cult member okay now here's the comforter black hebrew israelite church leaders jermaine grant pleads not guilty now i can play the video but it kind of it kind of buffers too long but he whom he calls himself the comforter okay tells the doc docky i think his name is and uh you know he this is the man that if men who've been around long enough to know is a vain kind of fellow man he's a lewd vain fellow why because he had a fucking bobby doll or action figure of himself made up and then he tried to sue the company because they made him they either made him too dark or the uniform he had on some bullshit you know but he in this article he has evaded tax um paying taxes and now they finally caught up with his ass you know some more headliners what is this <clears throat> here's what you need to know about the black hebrew israelites now this is tazadakia's school right here so let me read down a little bit a couple little points i want to make <clears throat> um, who are the black Hebrew Israelites? It says the movement was the movement was begun in the late 1800s by a black Christian who believed that African slaves were the Jews spoken of in the Bible as God's chosen people, the true Hebrew, the true Hebrews. According to Southern Poverty Law Center, a long-standing civil rights organization, Esau would do just about anything, go to great lengths. To make money off the bones and the backs and the bloods of the Israelites, man. The Southern Poverty Law Center. What the hell does that mean? Continuing on. It says, members believe that... Members believe they are the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel. Its leaders believe in black nationalism and preach about self-empowerment... And economic independence an organization said now we don't we don't teach economic independence we trust in Yahweh Yahweh Shai the Lord said this in this prayer give us this day our daily bread whatever comes our way we take it for the day and keep it moving we ain't plotting and planning and scheming now you got some groups that do this some groups plot and plan and scheme and try to make you know get rich quick scams you know hustling your own brothers 
But the true men of the Lord ain't involved with none of this shit, man. And this is why you got to keep yourself blameless, man. <clears throat> when you come into this thing and you use that name, Great, great Millstone, at the, at the front of your name, you got to be found blameless, man, in everything. Shit, even in your personal life, man, you got to be found blameless. Continuing on, it says, The movement, according to SPLC, did not initially start off preaching racist dogma, but controversial minorities of the religion eventually began anti-white teachings, which continues today. Anti-white teaching. Anything against Esau, man. Now he got to try to put you on blast. Anti-white. What about all the shit you did, Esau? All the killing and lynching, hanging and burning. What about all that shit you did? Why you gonna forget that, man? Why you gonna forget that? All right. So let's take a look at another quick headliner. Um. Alright, this is that shit that just went down the other day. Who are the black Israelites at the center of the viral standoff at the Lincoln Memorial? Now, when you watch the Lincoln Memorial, you'll notice that, I mean, you barely seen the men out there who are teaching. It's like, you barely seen them. I mean, the whole thing was geared around that Edomite, that proud-ass Edomite, Getting in that dude's way and come to find out he's an agent too, man. That, that Gadite. You know? So that whole shit was set up, man. The whole shit was set up. Trying to incite some shit. But you saw they're looking for that, man. But I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. One thing, they, the one thing they're not going to be able to do. Okay? Is call... The men of Great Millstone, <clears throat> anything but the prophet of the Lord, man. We don't we don't play around, we don't hang around, we don't, you know, set up, you know, shop to try to, you know, be all about be all be out in the public eye like that. You know, a nigga get killed, we ain't rallying to the mother to go speak to the news channel. And say her man, her boy was a good boy. Well, if he was a good boy, the the, the most I wouldn't have spent sent the death spirit to mow that nigga down. Okay. Not many more here. Now I don't think that I think that matter of fact, um, there was one. Daily Beast is that it? Oh damn! I don't think I converted it. Yeah, I think. Hold on. Give me bear with me for a quick second. Nah, that's not it. Bear with me. But anyway, what's this here? Yeah, that's about it. That's I mean that's just a couple. That's just a couple headliners we we went into. Right quick, you know, and, and where we can expect to see more of these headlines, you know, concerning the black Hebrew Israelites. Why? Because regardless if you have an IUIC or a, a GMS or I, you know, whatever, regardless of all that, you have been labeled, man. You have been targeted and labeled, you know. Now that's that's a that's a double edged sword for for most man, because at the end of the day you have been targeted. So being targeted, you walk around with a bullseye on your back. Esau knows who you are. He knows what your IP address is. He knows where you teach. He knows the hour you get out there. He knows how long you stay out there. He knows when groups are going to come out there because of the weather or not. So, with all that being said, man, this whole thing, we got to be on the ready. We got to be on the ready 
time is running short, and, and, and Esau is not playing any more games. He's not. All right, so with that, just a quick hit on a few of the headliners of what they say about the so-called black Hebrew Israelites and everything that they put is not in a good light, man. It's not in a good, a good favor. But that's all right, because this is what we applaud. We, we look forward to that. So with that, I say Shalom.